What's up, I'm Skyler, and this is how to install your MLE for editing the 1DX Mark III 5.5K RAW footage. You'll need this plugin to view your RAW video files when shooting 5.5K with the 1DX Mark III. The file type coming from this camera in 5.5K RAW is a .CRM file. I edit mainly in Premiere, and so I scoured the internet for an MLE plugin that will work for this camera in Premiere. Looking on some Adobe forums and some other articles, I found that people said it's impossible to read slash edit CRM files for the moment directly in Premiere Pro. I'm very disappointed for Premiere not supporting the CRM from the 1DX Mark III. I end up having to go buy Final Cut Pro for my work. Looking at the Mark III on Canon's site supports this. If you scroll down and look at the software available for the camera, you'll see that they have a Canon RAW plugin for Avid and down at the bottom, a Canon RAW plugin for Final Cut Pro X. But no plugin for Premiere or any Adobe software. You may also want to get this first digital photo professional package because they come in a .CR3 instead of a .CR2, which are not previewable on any computer by default. So let's go ahead and click Select on the Final Cut Pro MLE plugin so that we can view the media from this camera on Final Cut. It'll bring up a screen and you'll click Download. Click the Downloads bar. Select a place for this plugin to install. Once it has installed, it'll give you a zipped folder and a, and a normal file. If your normal file doesn't pop up, click into the zip folder and it should bring up the non-zip DMG file. Double click the DMG file. Click RPF installer. And the program will start downloading. All right, it worked. Looks like we're all installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and open Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna import my footage off the hard drive, and it works. So there you have it. That's how you install the NLE plugin to view the 5.5K raw footage off of the 1DX Mark III. That's it for the NLE plugin tutorial. I wish it was available for Premiere at this time. It's a huge bummer for me that it isn't, and it's something to seriously consider before purchasing this camera. I'm Skylar from VidArmy. Check us out for video production monthly starting at $4.99.